Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. And as you can see, this decal set is a big one. And it looks like most of the decals are for Laser Prime's very plain looking trailer. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Laser Optimus Prime both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Laser Optimus Prime looks pretty good, though I did have a couple of complaints with my initial review of the figure. Taking a closer look at Prime, I did not like the way they did his eyes. You can barely see them. I'm not sure if Hasbro was going for light piping and then changed their mind because there's no translucent plastic on the back of the head whatsoever, so the eyes just disappear. Another thing I'm not a fan of is the translucent windows there on the chest that you can see the matrix through. It's just a thing, a pet peeve of mine. I do not like that. He does have a few nice paint applications though. I love the silver up here on the pylon on these little flaps that hide the translucent missile pods. Got some nice yellow details around the shoulders and really that's about it. The rest is just colored plastic really do like the wheels on Prime here. So, putting Prime aside, let's go ahead and take a look at his weapons because I know they're getting toy hacked. We'll start with the sword. It's just blue, translucent plastic. Pretty much the same with the axe. You got blue, translucent plastic with the black handle. So, there you go. Laser Optimus Prime in robot mode before and after. Laser Optimus Prime's robot mode gets quite the makeover thanks to Toy Hacks. And the first decals you're probably noticing are the new window decals there for the chest. You do have some options. I chose blue because I personally think that looks fantastic. Or you also have these red decals here. You have the top ones that look like the Matrix once again. And then these here on the bottom, which is a throwback to the G2 Laser Prime toy that actually has his name, Optimus Prime. I went for the blue, like I said, I just love the looks of that. Now let's take a look at his head. If we can get to catch the light, he gets new eye decals that look amazing. Once again, you do have options. You have red, blue, or yellow, and I cannot find my sheet, there it is. You got the red eye decals there and the blue there. I decided to go with yellow for a change. I always use blue for Optimus Prime, but man, the yellow just pops. Plus, he gets a new chrome mouth plate. <laughs> and I love that. That just looks so cool. On the side of his head, he gets, I don't know what you call them, earmuff decals. And then there are blue decals on top of the head right there. So I love the looks of that. There's also new blue decals that go inside these ports on his shoulder pylons and open the pylons up. There are new decals that go on the translucent plastic to give him actual missiles in the missile pods. And that looks awesome. I just I love the looks of that. Toy Axe is blowing me away with this one already. New decals here on the shoulders as well to really add some more color to his shoulders. And as I say before, there are options like right here in the center. You can do different Autobot logos. You have yellow G2, yellow G1, and gray G1. I went with gray G2. Here on the side of Optimus Prime's waist, 
he has flamethrowers now. You've got these yellow decals that cover the pins, and if you lift his arms up, you'll see he has a flame tank or a fuel tank leading to some lines that fuel the flamethrower. So I love that. He's got the same thing on each side. So he's attacking you with missiles and flamethrowers. And <laughs> this guy is a badass. New decals here on the thighs. Silver decals here on the upper thigh. Little blue decals right above the knees. Blue decals here on the wrist. Down on the knees themselves, you get these new red decals. And there are options with that as well. Yes, right here. You've got these line decals that kind of match the Optimus Prime chest decals right there, but I went with those. You also get new triangle decals right up on the shins and little blue decals on the feet. And speaking of weapons, you flip the knee covers up and get my fingernail in. He now has missile pods for kneecaps. So you got missiles in the knees, missiles in the shoulders, flamethrowers, this guy is loaded. And speaking of weaponry, we'll bring in his sword, which gets new Toy Hacks decals. He's got this nice blue decal there on the blade, and one side gets a hilt. You got this silver and red hilt right there. The battle axe also gets new decals right along the edge. You've got blue on one side, and then when you flip it over, the silver from underneath the decals actually show through and look really, really good. So there is that. And of course, you can combine those into the lance, I guess is what that is. So yeah. So man, I love this. I think Optimus Prime looks great now. So there you have Legacy Laser Optimus Prime in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Laser Optimus Prime looks awesome. I have got a spot for tanker truck transformers, and this figure just hits the nail on the head. Taking a closer look at the cab here, lots of deco here on the front with the flames. The front of the vehicle is all silver with some yellow highlights around the headlights. Big silver Autobot logo below the door. Nice silver smokestacks right there. I wish there was some paint application there on the gas tank. Love the wheels. The wheels look great. Both the rims and the tires. Back of the truck, not much to write home about there. Not a fan of the translucent windows. Once again, you can see all the robot junk there on the inside and that is just not very appealing to me. Now, taking a look at the tanker itself. Lots and lots of great sculpted details all over. I mean, this thing looks awesome. Just really lacks some deco. I mean, the only thing it's got is the red piping there along the side. Actually, on both sides there. Once again, great wheels. Lots of details right inside the wheel well. Love that. So, yeah. I mean, a really good tanker. But, man, I cannot wait to see what Toy Hex does for him. So there you go, guys. Laser Optimus Prime in vehicle mode before and after. And ha 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 ha, that, my friends, is G2 Lorius right there. Just drink that in. But go easy on the drink because you might want to save that. This is going to take a while. So let's go ahead and look at the cab first. We'll save the best for last. Optimus Prime's cab gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his look. And as you can see, he gets new window decals there all around the top of the cab that look fantastic. So much better than the clear windows he had before. And he has side mirrors. If the light can catch that just right, some nice reflect reflective chrome right there. And speaking of reflective chrome, he gets a new grill. Ah, oh, I love that so much. There's also new light decals right there and a new license plate. There are options. I have the one that is Op Prime, but you have plenty to choose from if you want to pause and take a look at that. So I went with the Op Prime. Now on the side of the vehicle, he has a decal right there that says Western Star in nice chrome. 
On the side of the vehicle, we've got a new black, red, and white G2 Autobot logo. Once again, there is options. There's one right there where you could click Optimus Prime, but I went with this one right there. I like that a lot better. He gets new diamond plating for the steps here on the sides. On the back of the vehicle, there's some blue right there, red here, silver triangles. Back of the vehicle has brake lights. And that's pretty much it for Prime's cab mode. And I love that, especially the windows. So now let's bring in the trailer. And this thing just absolutely looks amazing now, just like the Generation 2 toy. You have a different design on either side. And man, these were kind of a challenge to put on. As you can see, there are many separate decals that make up the entire image. And my tip to you is start at the top. You want to get the decal flush against the top and then just lay it down. And heat will be your friend. After I applied these, I took a hairdryer on low heat to make sure it conformed to the curves. And man, I couldn't be happier. This looks fantastic now. The only one that proved to be a challenge are the ones on the end that have these little sections that go up in those recesses. But take your time and it's gonna look great. Now here on top, he gets lots of new chrome decals. There on this little section right here, a red arrow there on top. Moving near the back of the vehicle, a lot more chrome and a hazard stripe and triangle decal here. On the back, more chrome, brake lights, and another license plate. Now, right here, the instructions on Toy Hack's website or their sticker map shows this decal on the front. But there's a lot of molded detail there, and I just like that better on the back because that's so plain. So, yeah, that's my preference, and I dig it. So, yeah, there we have Laser Optimus Prime all toy hacked up in his tanker mode, and I love it. That is an amazing change. I mean, that's almost like a brand new toy. So there you go, guys. Legacy Laser Optimus Prime in truck mode after. Laser Prime's command center straight out of the packaging isn't really that much to look at. I mean, yeah, it's got a lot of nice sculpted details throughout, but it's just gray, red, and black, and really kind of lackluster. But man, look at the sculpted details all throughout this. Of course, a lot of those are just reversed from the outside of the trailer. I do like the details there on the ramp. You got the little claw arm here. Details there on the gun tower. Turn around here on the other side so you can take a look. So yeah, really not much to write home about with the command center. So there you go, there is Laser Prime's command center before and after. Laser Optimus Prime's base mode looks a lot more like a base now thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the base, here on the gun tower you see the same decals from the trailer that actually carry over really good. The chrome decals here on the bottom and then right there on the center. Now the front of the base gets new decals right here on what I like to call the wall. So you kind of get different decals on either side and there's new hazard striping right there for the ramp. So a MicroMaster or something can pull up and be repaired with the repair arm there. Now you flip the base around to the other side and knock down your backdrop. You get a lot of terminals and control panels that look awesome. There's a chemical attack going on. You've got all the little sensors and screens and readouts. Here on the other side, a lot more different uh, decals. There's alerts and it just looks really cool. I like the black on green. And then if you look at the base from the top, you've got all of these cables that are intertwined throughout all of the molded details. So I really dig that. And that was kind of a challenge to put on. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. You just, just have to be very careful to match up the right decal 
to the molded in section. But once you get them all attached, it's not bad at all. You get one side done, just mirror the same on the other. So there you go, guys. There is Optimus Primes, or excuse me, Laser Optimus Primes base mode after. Without a doubt, this is one of the best Toy Hacks decal sets that I have ever purchased. It totally changes the look of Legacy Laser Optimus Prime, and it changes the look for the better. The trailer is absolutely stunning now. The artwork looks great. The decals fit perfect. And I just can't complain at all. I really wish that I had the original Generation 2 toy to compare this with. But there's an image right there, so you have an idea. Not to mention how they improved the base mode to really add a lot more playability to that. And Optimus Prime himself looks awesome now. The clear windows have been fixed on the chest. I love that the eyes are so prominent, not to mention all of the weaponry. This set right here, I think, has inspired me for the end of the year to do a top 10 Toy Hacks decal sets. And this one right here will definitely be number one. So yeah, if you have a Legacy Laser Optimus Prime, this Toy Hacks decal set right here is a must buy and i'm going to put a link to this set in the description of this video and don't forget tell them patriot prime sent you guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when i upload new videos also if you're in any position to help out the channel i do have a super thanks button now thanks to youtube and i also offer channel memberships and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hooah!